So Japan has recently uh, become Australia's largest export market for beef once again. So it's a, it's a traditional, mature market. Uh, MLA in various guises have had an office there uh, for over 60 years. The trade up there is very accustomed to dealing with Australian beef and they're accustomed to dealing with an agricultural product that has uh, cyclical changes in supply and price. So it's a great market for us, uh, and in times like this, when supply tightens up a little bit, it's markets like Japan that can be relied upon. In Japan, we work across all sectors uh, in market, from food service, retail, and consumer promotion. There's a great trend in Japan about eating leaner beef and eating steaks. So what we're trying to do in market is educate consumers about how to cook the perfect steak, and obviously an Aussie beef steak, the program's called Let's Barbie, and it's really had some fantastic success in market at getting consumer attention and getting people buying Australian beef steaks. What we've learned from the Let's Barbie program is that it's one thing to raise awareness and inspire consumers, but ultimately we also need to focus on education. So this summer we'll be putting a more effort into educating consumers about how to cook that steak. So we're looking at ideas such as pop-up stores in, in places like Tokyo where, where people can actually come into a store and learn uh, about different meat cuts and about how to cook the perfect steak. So I guess watch this space on that one. <laughs>